Welcome to BBC News, broadcasting to our viewers in North America and across the globe. I'm Kasia Madeira, our main story. New details of the terror attack that killed seven and injured many more here in the heart of London. Eight minutes after the terror began, police shot dead the attackers. So who were they and why did they strike? Hello and welcome to London Bridge, the very heart of the British capital, where as you can see this is very much an active investigation where the area that was targeted in Saturday's devastating attack is still in lockdown. These police cordons are staying up. Police say they're not sure when they will come down, but what police are saying that they know is the identity of the three attackers. The three attackers who killed seven people on Saturday evening when they targeted pedestrians on London Bridge with a vehicle and then they got out of that vehicle and started lashing out with their knives. Now in the past few hours so-called Islamic State has claimed responsibility for this but of course we have to treat that with a lot of caution. Welcome to BBC News. We'll bring you the very latest on this developing story that's been taking place through the night. Hundreds of firefighters in London are working to rescue people who are trapped in a massive blaze that has engulfed a high-rise block of flats. This is the image live now in West London. There are 40 fire engines that are in the presence of Grenfell Tower. This is in the west of the city. Now, police say that residents were still being evacuated. A number of people were being treated for a range of injuries. This fire broke out in the middle of the night. Uh, we go now to Casio Madeira in Warsaw for, for a reaction in the early morning sunlight there, uh, a reaction to what's happened overnight here in Britain. Well, David, it's a very sunny day here, but the outlook is far from it. This is a country waking up in shock. The main priority is what happens to the nearly million Polish nationals living in the United Kingdom. They make up, of course, the largest non-British national group in the UK. What happens to their status? What happens to their jobs? What happens to their freedom of movement? What happens to the ability of their children to go to school? There are so many unanswered questions at the moment. That as polls get ready for Christmas, not everybody is in the mood to celebrate. Already tens of thousands of pro-democracy protesters have been out on the streets in this country. Find out why. Watch my exclusive interview with the new Polish president, Andrzej Duda, with me, Kasia Madeira, on BBC World News. The new right-wing Polish government, which was only elected in October with a majority, has already got tens of thousands of people protesting against it, not just here in Warsaw or outside the Parliament building, but in 20 cities across the country. You describe this vision of the future. You, you talk about a future Poland and how you will help children, families, and yet you've got thousands of people on the streets protesting against your government. Why is that happening? If they're not made to feel welcome, Angela Merkel has told refugees, come, our borders are open, or at least she had done until recently. If you have someone like Jarosław Kaczyński, a respected statesman within the Law and Justice Party, saying that refugees from certain countries have diseases that are not good for Poles, that would be damaging to Polish people, that's not welcoming, is it? Now, this isn't Jacob Zuma's first vote of no confidence. Actually, it's not. It's going to be his eighth, in fact. But this is going to be a secret one. Let's find out why this is crucially important. We are joined by Varashni Pillay. She's online editor at Power FM in Johannesburg. This is different this time around, isn't it? A secret ballot. What does that mean? And let's start off with the Telegraph, because, of course, the investigation is continuing into how this Barcelona cell was able to operate for a whole year undetected, how it managed to do this, and looking at effectively its own incompetence in the way that it couldn't rent a larger van and do a lot more damage, Sean. Mm. 